Hi God, it's me, Savior. I'm coming to you with a heavy heart and feeling utterly alone and desperate for answers. It's like I'm trapped in a world that rejects who I am and I can't escape this overwhelming sense of loneliness. I've been told that being a queer teen is wrong, that I'm some kind of abomination in your eyes. People have tried to demonize me, to convince me that I'm broken and need fixing. They say I should pray the gay away, as if I, as if I could just erase this part of me and magically become normal. God, God, why would you create me this way if it's so wrong? I'm trying to understand, to find some kind of meaning in this struggle. It feels like you're angry and hateful towards me, and I don't know why. I'm just a kid. I feel lost and confused, desperately trying to make sense of who I am. It's like I know who I am, I know how I feel, but the world doesn't accept me, and I'm just trying to accept myself. Please, God, listen to my plea and help me find some solace and acceptance. Show me that I'm not alone in this world, that there's a purpose to all this pain. I want to believe that you're not as distant as you seem, that you can offer me comfort and guidance. I know I can't change the minds of those who hate me just as much as I can't change how I feel, but maybe, just maybe, you can soften their hearts. Help them see that I'm not a threat or a sin, but a human being worthy of love and respect. In this minute of desperation, I beg you to reveal yourself to me. Let me feel your presence, even if it's just a glimmer of hope. Help me navigate this darkness and find the strength to be true to myself, despite the world's disapproval. Please, God. Show me that you're not just an angry and hateful God, but a God who actually cares. This is a desperate plea from your friend Xavier. Hi, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Princess and I'm a five-year-old detective from the UK working for Babyface Cops here in the USA. Being unique myself, I'm a huge advocate for inclusion and diversity. Xavier's plea resonates deeply with me. As I reflect on Xavier's heartfelt prayer, I'm moved by the courage and vulnerability they displayed. It takes immense strength to lay bare one's fears and frustrations, especially when facing a world that often fails to understand or accept us. As I said before, Xavier's words resonated deeply with me, as I have seen countless queer teens grappling with the same feelings of being unseen, unheard, and alone. Their plea for representation acceptance, and love is a cry that echoes in the hearts of so many. In response to Xavier's prayer, I want to assure them and all the queer teens out there that they're not alone. The struggle they face is real, but they have a community of support and understanding waiting to embrace them. Together, we can challenge the misconceptions and prejudices that surround us and create a society that celebrates and uplifts every unique individual. Xavier's journey is a testament to the power of visibility and representation. By sharing their story, they give voice to the voiceless and inspire others to embrace their identities with pride and authenticity. They remind us that we can find strength in our struggles and that by standing together, we can create a future where every queer teen feels acknowledged, accepted and cherished. Let us heed Xavier's call and become allies, friends and mentors to those who need it most. Let us amplify their message advocate for change, and create spaces where every queer teen can thrive. Through our collective efforts, we can build a world that celebrates the beautiful diversity of human experiences and ensures that no one is left behind. To Xavier and all the queer teens who have shared their prayers, thoughts, and dreams, I want to say this. Your voices matter, your stories matter, and you are not alone. Together, let us pave the way for a brighter, more inclusive future where every individual can live authentically and be celebrated for who they are. With love and unwavering support, Princess 